Hey drummers, it's Rob Litton here from drumsaword.com and welcome to this full video song lesson. This one was requested over on my Facebook page and so if you want to make your own song suggestions then please go over there to do so. You'll find the link to my Facebook page beneath this video. The song is Dreams by the Cranberries drummed by Fergal Lawler. And it starts with a very, very big tom hit. One, two, three, four. Now I think, I don't think the bass drum comes down with beat four, but if you want to make it more powerful, then you could come down with the bass drum as well. One, two, three, four. Or you could play multiple toms. One, two, three, four. So that's all three limbs, two hands and the bass drum together to give it more power like the recording. Um, but on the recording itself, it's just the one tom being struck, I believe. One, two, three, four. Then we're into our first groove. And it starts with um, a crash cymbal on beat one, one, and then Fergal plays another crash cymbal on beat two with the snare drum. And we get this repeating pattern throughout this where the bass drum is playing on all four beats. One, pretty much for the entire song, apart from this one that will bridge halfway through. We're playing one, two, three, four on the bass drum. So we start with the crash cymbal on one and on beat two. That snare drum comes in on beat two and beat four. One, I like to use a different crash symbol. We could use the same crash symbol, though it really doesn't matter. One, two, three, and four. And then we move to the right symbol, or Fergal does, and he starts to play eighth notes. Three and four, and then we go into the second bar. One and two and three, where the bass drum continues. But then we get these offbeat stare, snare and crash stabs on the and of three and the and of four. One and two and three and four and. And I've got a crash cymbal right next to this ride cymbal, so it's very easy for me to do this. If your crash cymbal is a little bit further away, then don't feel the need to come back to the ride cymbal for the note in between on beat four. You could play three and four and one. Instead of three and four and, you could play uh, three and four and one. And just come back to the ride cymbal for beat one. Don't feel the need to rush back if you don't want to. It's not important, but on the recording you can hear him play in between, because obviously I think he's got his crash cymbal near the ride cymbal. So it's easy for him to play it. If you can't, then leave out that note. So that intro, the first three bars we just talked about, 